All right, we got one more problem here. I want to solve for you guys. Uh, made this up myself, but it's a good review for what you're going to be facing. It says if you mix 1.00 grams of magnesium with 1.25 liters of oxygen at T equals 33 degrees Celsius uh, and pressure equals 1.43 atmospheres, how many grams of magnesium oxide can you make? Uh, this is a good problem because it's limiting reactant. It's got a solid and a gas for you to find the moles of. And um, I think that's mostly why it's a good problem. Uh, I'm actually going to start with my 1.00 grams of magnesium. Convert that into moles and then eventually grams of magnesium oxide. Let's see, 24.30 grams. One mole. Then it's two to two for uh, magnesium. Two magnesium oxide. Oh, and then we'll go to grams. So let's see, 24.30 plus 16. Yep. 40.30. Yeah. And we can multiply this out. I get 1.66. Now, uh, I do my ideal gas law not in a picket fence. So when I determine my uh, moles of oxygen, let's see, PV equals NRT, N equals PV over RT and then plug things in. Nothing says anything about collected over water, so just use that pressure straight in. Volume, 1.25 liters. Liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, get all my units to cancel out, and my temperature, oh, it's 33 plus 273, or 306. Let's multiply this out. I get 0 0.0712 moles of oxygen. And then that I can plug into my picket fence. And I know that there's one mole of oxygen for every two moles of magnesium oxide. And the last step is the same. Same as I did up here anyway. As you know by now, I always write it out. And this time, again, I'm just gonna go 0.0712. I'm just using the numbers as written here, not that we're in my calculator, times two times 40.3, wow, 5.74 grams MgO. So my one gram, is that right? That sounds about right, yeah. Uh, so I can only make 1.66 grams of magnesium oxide this time. Uh, let's see. And how many grams of magnesium oxide can you make? Yes, we've answered that successfully.